Women are becoming increasingly involved in agricultural markets in developing countries, and thus they are key to meeting the growing global demand for food. Oxfam began in 2009 a two-year collaborative women's collective action research project through a series of stakeholders' dialogues in order to understand how collective action in some selected subsectors can empower women in decision-making in agricultural markets and reduce in gender inequities, define and promote the adoption of effective strategies for women's collective action. In Tanzania, the research project operates through regional dialogues in Shinyanga and Tanga, followed by a national dialogue in Dar es Salaam. Around 90 people participated in the regional dialogues, of which 40 were local producers and 60% were women. The purpose of the first round of dialogues was to provide a space for stakeholders to choose the subsectors that the research project would focus on. Participants grouped products into three groups based on whether the participation of women was high, average or low. Four sectors in which there was a high women involvement from production to marketing were selected. In Shinyanga, rice, green gram, local chicken and chickpeas were selected as final choices. In Tanga, it was maize, spices, vegetables and alum blackia. The National Stakeholder Dialogue was held on Tuesday the 27th of April in Dar es Salaam. Over 30 participants attended. The objectives of the National Dialogue were to confirm the six subsectors the research project would focus on to increase the influence of women smallholders in discussions on agriculture and to agree on ways on how stakeholder engagement would be maintained. The intention is to engage stakeholders, primary stakeholders and secondary stakeholders, in the process right from the beginning. And that is why the regional stakeholder dialogues were undertaken with a larger participation of primary stakeholders, that is the smallholder farmers themselves. The participants worked in subgroups to discuss the pros and cons of each of the proposed subsectors to come to a choice of three for each region. For Shinyanga, all groups came up with the same proposal, selecting rice, local chicken and green gram and dropping chickpeas. For Tanga, there was some difference in proposals from the four groups and after some discussions, participants reached a consensus to drop the spices subsector. This first round of stakeholder dialogue has given us information that will help us in finalizing research design. The second round of stakeholder dialogue towards the end of this year, 2010, will focus on sharing and validating the findings of the research project. The third round of stakeholder dialogues at the end of the two-year project will focus on sharing and validating the final outcomes of the research. In conclusion, the project is not a research project per se, but a project about changing practice. Our vision is that in two years, Oxfam programs in Tanzania will have adopted changes in their strategies of support to smallholders' collective action based on evidence on what works. In the future, this will encourage women farmers from the regions of Shinyanga and Tanga to lead as examples to other Tanzanian women and empower them in their development towards alleviation of poverty and gender disparities. Thank you.